<laughs> so let me guess, you have your PlayStation Vita all modded up, or you've had it for a while, you have permanent Hinkaku thanks to Enzo, and recently you've tried to connect to PlayStation Network, you have spoofing and everything set up properly, however you end up getting an error like this. Well, this is a pretty recent change here in 2021, and I'll be showing you all how to fix this, hopefully, thankfully, pretty easily thanks to ITLS Enzo. Anyways, hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and we're coming here with another PlayStation Vita tutorial for the first time in a while. Now, this is going to require, of course, a modified PlayStation Vita, but not just a modified PlayStation Vita, it will need permanent Hinkaku enabled on it, meaning you'll need to be on firmware 3.60 or 3.65, and you'll need Enzo for that respective firmware already installed. Now, if you've followed any of my Enzo-related videos or my most recent one at the time of recording this, in which I show how to go from 3.73 all stock down to 3.60 with Hinkaku Enzo, you should be at the same stage I'm at here where you have Enzo applied. This is required because we will need this applied on boot. So if you do not have permanent Hinkaku enabled on your PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV thanks to Enzo, you will not be able to continue with this tutorial, having Enzo is required. Now that we have all of that out of the way, we will need to download one application and we'll need to install it on our PlayStation Vita. To do that, we'll need access to the PlayStation Vita storage. We can either use USB or I'm going to be using FTP, all thanks to Vita Shell. So once you have your PlayStation Vita in front of you, go ahead, open up Vita Shell, and you might want to configure it however you're going to set it up by pressing the start button. As you can see, mine is set to FTP as I'm going to do this over my network. And you can press the select button to initiate either a USB connection or an FTP connection and just keep it right here. If you're on Windows, the application that I use for FTP, which if you want to follow along with it or use your own equivalent is just fine, is WinSCP. You can download it and install it pretty easily. The link for ITLS Enzo by SKG Liba is going to be down below in the description and it just states here, add TLS version 1.2 to devices with Enzo and installed. It's very easy where we're just going to install a VPK file. We're going to install the full ITLS package unless if you want to deviate a bit and you only want to install the new root certificates, you can just say install the ITLS CA certs. We'll get to it at that point and we need to reboot the system. Easy enough. So from here you can go to the GitHub page linked down below in the description, go to releases, and you want to download the latest release, and you want to download the itls-enzo.vpk file. Make sure you save the file somewhere you can easily find it. We do need to transfer it to our Vita. Now, if you are using FTP, make sure you pay attention to your Vita here. Be on the same network as your computer, and you want to note down the IP address as well as the port here. Those are going to be important here soon. Once you open WinSCP, it will look a little something like this. On the left is going to be where you navigate to, which you can navigate to manually and change your drives here. On the right is going to be where your connection will be, but we need to start a new session. You can create a new site if you wish to, do FTP, and enter in the IP address that your Vita is showing right now. The port is going to be 1337, and you can do an anonymous login. And if you wish to save this, you can. Go ahead, click login, and it should hopefully connect. Now from here, you want to navigate to UX0. If you don't already have a VPK or an equivalent install directory, you might just want to right click and do a new directory, call it that. Typically, if you followed my tutorials, I recommend just doing a VPK directory. And from here, I already have some VPKs, which I'm actually going to delete these ones here because I've already installed them. But you can transfer over ITLS Enzo just like that by either drag and dropping or right click and upload. And that's all there is to it. At this point, we can disconnect from the session and close out of WinSCP. Over at your Vita, you can press circle to cancel. Now navigate over to UX0 and navigate over to wherever you transferred over the ITLS Enzo VPK. If you have installed Homebrew before, this should be extremely familiar to you. You just highlight the VPK, press X, press X again to install the package. And yes, we are going to need those extra precautions there and extra permissions. So press yes on that. Now wait a few moments and we're all done. At this point, we can hit the triangle button 
and delete the VPK. Now go ahead, close out of Vita Shell, and we're going to look for the latest installed application, which is ITLS Enzo, and go ahead and launch it. From here, we have a few options. We've got the full package, the plugin, the compatible module, HTTP, H, and SSL modules, and just the CA certs. Now, it is recommended initially from the instructions to just install the ITLS package, the full one, or if you only want the new CA certs, you can just do that, the newer ones. I'm going to go ahead and do the full package here. So press X and wait. So your system should automatically reboot, and once it does, we can just try the same thing as before. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up my controller. We're all good here. Now let's go ahead and navigate over to the PlayStation Store. This is going to assume you've put in the required system firmware that the system is looking for and you've enabled spoofing. But as you can see right here, I was able to log in just fine. I can check out the PlayStation Vita games. And, you know, the store's in a little bit sad shape, unfortunately, but all is working well here. In case that is not working for you, you can double check your settings by going into settings, go into your Nkaku settings, make sure enable PSN spoofing, enable version spoofing are there, and for your spoofed version, you want to put down the current latest firmware version. At the time I'm recording this, it's 3.73. So now with all three of those settings set, as well as ITLS Enzo applied in the background, we're able to, yet again here, access the PlayStation Store and play online like we are able to with no issues. Anyways, that is about it for this tutorial. Hopefully this gets you all back and running online if you have not been able to access PlayStation Network or the store on your Vita, or even if you have been following the previous tutorial, this is a really good video to append to that just so you'll be able to, well, actually access everything here. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. This is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed it, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.